Okay, so I wanna give you an overview of how the marketing content planner works. So imagine for a moment that you've got um, a number of ideas that you have around content. If you wanted to create a new piece of content, so a new video, you simply click, uh, make sure you're on the to be recorded um, uh, section and you wanna click on the new. So now I'm gonna put in whatever the name of that video. So I'm gonna call it uh, a video about positioning. Okay, so now I can go in and I can open that, which allows me to see inside um, this folder. So um, if I wanted to use the template that uh, I've created, which is the template that I use for all of my videos, I just simply click on video script template, and it's gonna pull up all of the content um, that I use to create my videos. So you'll notice here that I always start off my video with a wake up statement. This is also called a hook um, in the world of video marketing. I call it a wake up statement because when I used to stand up on stages, um, it used to be the initial statement that I would have to pull the audience in, get them to wake up and sit forward in their seat. The same thing in video. So what is one sentence you can use that will get someone to self-identify that this video is for them and to stop scrolling? Um, I also have a list of wake up statements uh, that you can use. These are all proven wake up statements. There's about a hundred or more of them uh, that I've got, that I've compiled, and that are proven. I've used them. They work really, really well. Um, and I've given you examples. So you can literally, when you're ready to go, you can just click on this content and you can type over top of it. Okay, and put in your wake up statement if you want to. So I'm just going to Go back to the way that we were. Then after your wake up statement, you wanna have a relatable problem. So you wanna describe the problem in a way that's relatable to your viewer. So if I started off by saying, have you ever heard you're too expensive and you didn't know how to respond? Here's one powerful reply that'll convert them from a lost sale into an opportunity. Now I wanna give them the problem. So it's important to know that most price objections aren't about price at all. We need to ask the right questions to uncover what's really holding our prospect back. Next, we want to jump into the solution. So this is usually a framework, ideas, or something that you want to get across um, that is going to solve that problem for them. So there are three possible answers. Uh, sorry. So try this. Too expensive compared to what? There are three possible answers to this. And then I go on and I provide the solutions for all of those three possible options. Sometimes you want to incorporate proof. So this is something that I've used for a client. You know, this has been tested and true, uh, tried by over 100 people. I have an 80% uh, response rate when I do this, but basically the proof, um, especially when you're introducing a new idea, validates what it is that you're saying. Uh, and then you've got your call to action. So this is where you want to get people to actually take an action. This is a really important part of creating video content. So click the link in my bio to apply for a free growth coaching call, and I'll give you three ideas on how to win more business. What is your call to action that you can put on your videos? Um, also, you're going to put in the description. So what is the description that you're going to use or the introduction that you're going to use on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, LinkedIn, uh, wherever you're going to be hosting your video. Uh, and then you want to incorporate your hashtags or, or specify what hashtags you're going to use. So that's the framework um, that I use that you can update. And now you can put in your entire video script. Your entire video script goes here. Okay. So now um, when I uh, close out of this uh, and I open this again and I want to actually read my script and record it, I can go here to find uh, what my video script is. Now the other thing I want to do is I want to put in when is this video going to be published. So I can pick from, it opens up a calendar, I can pick the day. So I'm going to publish this tomorrow uh, and there we go. So now it's in for July 28th. The really cool thing is that if I want to see this in a different view, I can go over to my calendar view and I can see here we're at July 27th when this video is being recorded. And you can see I've got two videos scheduled for tomorrow, another one on the 29th and another one on the 31st. So that's also a good way for you to be able to see when things are scheduled and you can move things around really easily uh, so that if you want to kind of change when that video is going to be recorded, you can do that here. And when I'm ready, I can just go back over to the to be recorded. Now let's imagine um, that I have recorded this video. So now I'm going to click on complete. 
which will take it out of my to be recorded list and it will automatically populate it in my completed videos list. So I can see a list of all of my completed videos. This is really helpful if ever I wanna go back in time, I wanna see the script that I used or I want to be able to, maybe a video got deleted uh, or uh, it's a really popular video and I wanna record it in a new way. I can now see all of the script and I can open up my script windows here and I can take a look at what I actually said uh, in each of these videos. So this is where I manage all of my videos. Anytime I get a new idea, and even before I write out a script, I'll, I'll say, you know, oh, I just got this idea. Why don't I talk about um, what Peloton is doing with their ad campaign? Okay, and then in the future, I can click on this and I can write the script for it. But this is a topic that's of interest to me. If I want to get rid of it, um, then I can just hold down the control feature. I'm on a Mac and I can click delete. Okay. Um, now the other really cool things in this uh, template is that um, if you want to be uh, inspired by, again, those wake up statements or those hooks, you can click on here and it opens up all of the different hooks. You can see that there's tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of them. Uh, and I continue to build these. But what's really cool is if I know I'm doing a video and my video is gonna be about tools and resources that I wanna share with people, I can actually click on this and I can just select tools and resources and it's only gonna give me the hooks that are related. So uh, here's a, here are the 10 tools I wish I knew earlier. You need this tool for uh, the coaching industry. Here's the top five sites I use to save my time as a coach. Right, so I can I can filter these wake up statements by uh, category, uh, and you can see all of the categories here. The other thing I want to point out uh, is that I have a building list of creators that I think do a really really good job. They're usually underrated. Uh, some of them are not underrated, and this list is being built. Uh, but again, I can filter um, by industry. So I can say, if I'm a coach and I wanna find other coaches, I can find out, whoops, I can find out uh, basically um, who is uh, a coach or who's related to coaching, okay? So all of those are related to coaching. And I can remove that filter again. Um, so this is a really good list of um, creators to follow specifically on TikTok. And then the last, uh, sorry, the other thing I wanted to mention is our video production checklist. So this is the actual checklist I used when I first started out to create videos so that I knew exactly what I wanted to do. I'm gonna write out my script, then I'm gonna record the video one line at a time in Instagram. So in my script, I actually just record one line at a time, not the entire script. Uh, and then it, I tell myself exactly what to do, create a new reel, select an appropriate filter, uh, edit clips within the app, add captions to the video, then save the video to my phone. Uh, then I select, I create cover images and so on. So I've got that video production checklist in there, uh, which you can update as you need to. And uh, the last element is content inspiration. So sometimes uh, I'll be on the web and I'll um, come across an article that I think would be really good uh, information for a future video. So what you can do is you can download the Notion Web Clipper, and I've included the link here for Chrome specifically. And anytime you come across a new article, you can clip that article in Chrome and it will automatically populate uh, into this uh, template provided that you choose it. So it would be video marketing content inspiration. And when you clip it, it'll go directly in here. So these are examples of um, articles that I clipped, if I click on the link, it'll take me directly to uh, the article that I thought was really interesting. So that is the video marketing content planner uh, in a nutshell. I hope that you enjoy it. It is something that I use all the time. Um, I've got my own version of it here. Um, and it's been tremendously helpful for me, and it is the exact system I use when I'm creating my content, so enjoy.